G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision. I'm Dale. And g'day, I'm Mike. And today we are looking at the Aussie Vision team's predictions of who will qualify for semi final number two. This is a really interesting semi final, isn't it? It is. Uh, probably harder to pick than semi one as far as standout performers and who's going to get through. Mm, indeed. So 16 members of the team voted. Put their top 10s in, and we've got four straight away that got 100% of the team putting them through to the grand final. And the first one unanimously put through was Bulgaria, Dale. Mm, beautiful um, performance and staging. The really impactful staging, actually. And even if you don't necessarily love this song, I'm not a big fan of it. I can see that this is going to do well. It's going to have jury appeal. And it's going to get some televote. It is safely through. We always thought the jury was there for this one. I think the presentation that they're offering really gives it a lot more televote appeal. So we can't see this one falling in the semi-final. Indeed. Let's talk about the next one we want to talk about is Iceland. Mm. Yeah, well, it was always going to go in. One of the sentimental favourites, if not one of the bookies' favourites. And he's pulled together a really, really great package. It shows off everything that people love about Duffy Freya. Exactly. There's no concern. Even if the staging wasn't great, he'd get through and the staging's fantastic. So straight through. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is Switzerland. Um, one of the heavy favourites coming into the contest. And he's delivered a really interesting staging concept. And I can't see there being any problems of this getting through. Yeah, absolutely. Jury, televote, tick, tick. It's all looking good for Switzerland. It's a lovely uh, package that popped together. And up with these three big dogs is little plucky San Marino. San it. Um, great to see them there. They've put together a great package with Adrenalina, haven't they? They certainly have. And, it, you know, it's fun. It's vibrant. It's big. It opens the show with a bang. And flow rider or no flow rider, this is not falling at the first hurdle, I think, for San Marino. Yeah, great package overall. 100% through. All right, well, let's go down to the next lot. This is 15 out of 16 with the team. I'm a bit surprised that they didn't get 100%, but let's start off with Greece, 15 out of 16. I personally love the staging. I was, I like the song. Then I saw the staging, and I am in love with it. This is going through. She's fantastic. Her vocals are good. The staging is really impactful and interesting. I have no doubts about this. Yeah, we're probably a bit worried about the song before the competition, but now that we've seen the staging, it all really comes together. She holds the screen, and you're right. It's just something televoters, I think, will really go for. And the other one is Finland. Mm. The boys, um, can't see too many problems with this getting through. Yeah, no, this is a great package overall. If you love your rock, particularly from a Linkin Park era, you're going to love this. The transplant of the national final performance really well onto the um, Eurovision stage. It's through, not a problem. Yeah, so the next one down, 14 out of 16, put the next song through. It's Serbia, Hurricane. Um, yeah, I can't see this being an issue with this one either. No, fantastic performance by the three young women. They just smash it. They come out, there's a lot of hair. There's a lot of hair. <laughs> there's a lot of hair. <laughs> and, but at the same time, it is brilliant. It's really well performed. It, it just has so much energy. They were always going to get through, I felt, even if the staging wasn't amazing, but it is amazing. They're safely through. They've also chosen a colour palette which is completely different mm. to all the others yep. so they've really differentiated themselves I can't see this being an issue for them getting through at all. Mm -hmm. Now the last one that the team pretty much agree on yeah. pretty much, 11 of the 16 put through Denmark Yeah, a little drop there from 14 to 11 and look this starts to get into slight danger territory. I personally love this song and I do think there's enough fun and energy and just quirkiness and a LED pink and blue that actually works works with this song compared to a lot of the other ones and I just think ending the show is gonna just get them over the line if it was maybe not ending I might be more worried but I think the ending the show is gonna be just that um, sweet spot to get them through yeah look I do feel perhaps Australians uh, lean towards this one more than <laughs> perhaps some of the other regions mm. in Europe might but you're right for me ending the show is the one that kicks it over the line here I think if this had been in the first half a, a, a lot more question marks would have been raised but it's got great energetic finish it's a great finish of the show actually so that's eight yeah that the team pretty much agree on are going to get through mm -hmm. we've got the next six songs all battling over those two spots yeah so nine of our voters from the 16 put through the next one which is moldova mm. we were big fans of the song um we are big fans we were of the song. i was gonna say <laughs> we are big fans of the song the staging has disappointed us personally i would say i can speak on behalf of us i think here it is simple she does it well it just doesn't have any wow factor that video has wow factor the song does and unfortunately it just hasn't come through for impact and i don't see this qualifying neither do i to be honest it's very slick at the start 
and I think the first minute and a half goes well, but then it starts to sag and it doesn't go anywhere mm. and we just pretty much get what we had previously. So unfortunately, I don't think they've done themselves a favour with the staging at Moldova. Indeed, but we are in the minority of the team at the moment. Mm. So let's go down to seven out of 16, which is a surprise packet in a way. It's Austria, Vincent Bueno, he puts on a great performance. A really good vocal. There's a really good light show. This is less about LEDs and a really kind of like, um, not quite intimate performance, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's a very classic Eurovision classic performance. Classic is probably I think. a better way. It's more yeah. re uh, revolving around the lighting as far as the staging goes. But it's actually him that sells it. I mm. think he's been the biggest surprise for me. Yep. He really does emote the song. He really does sing the song very, very well. So I can see a big jury score there. He should do okay with the televote. That, to me, says it's getting through. Interesting. All right, well, let's go down to the next one, which is out of two countries here, at mm. six out of the 16. So a decent portion there. Let's start with Albania, Michael. Yeah, I don't see any problems with this one getting through, to be honest. It's probably lifted. Staging-wise, it's fairly simple. It's only her on the stage, but they use the LEDs very effectively. And my gosh, she's got presence. So she sells this. Good diaspora vote out there in the tally vote. I think some of the drawers will come for this one, so I can see this one sneaking in. Yeah, not a great running order. All the good things are really good. The LED use, she owns it, she's great. But there's a lot of, she's on her own. There's a lot of time she's completely on stage on her own and walking around, like very obviously. And I just have a few question marks about that. The rest of it's really good, but yeah, 50 50 for me. The other one is Czech Republic, mm. Benny Cristo. Um, this, uh, Benny Cristo is a great performer and very charismatic. And and they've relied heavily on that because nothing else is happening. There's a few dancers around. It is a little X factor, I'm afraid to say. Um, and nice, a couple little choreography moments, but I feel the staging for this is just not strong enough. Yeah, it was an interesting song. It's one of those ones, if you love it, you love it. Uh, viewers on the night will only get three minutes to connect with it. They've got to connect with Benny. They've got to connect with that song. And really, they've left him pretty much with nothing as far as staging concept goes. So I reckon it's a bit of a tough uphill battle for Czech Republic on this one. Third in the running order as well. Not a good spot. Not a great sign there for Czech Republic, but you never know. Anything can happen. Mm. Um, moving on to the next two, five out of 16. This is the last batch out of the ones fighting for these last two spots, we think. It is Estonia and Portugal. We'll start with Estonia. Yeah, you're quite the fan of Estonia. You can make the case for this. I one. can. I can make the case for this because it is a really put, well put together package. It is done simply. It is, there's dark, it's moody, it's smoldering, it's uku, it's smoldering, and there's a lovely aesthetic there with that. He connects down the camera well. There's some good use of the video. It's a much top tidier performance that he did at East Lau and his vocals sound really good. Mm. I'm surprised as much as everybody. Um, so I think he can get Televote injury appeal and sneak his way through. I'll agree. It's a very tidy package, isn't it? It works. The song is solid to good. The staging is solid to good. If that, you know, equates to points, he should get a solid to good result. So I've got him kind of at the edge of the 10, but I don't know if he's sneaking in. He, Second in the running order is probably not a, fa uh, a good thing for him. True. It's a safe thing. Is He kind of probably needs others to not do as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. And a few of them might not. Oops. We'll get into them. All right, so the next one we had with five out of 16 was Portugal. Mm. Probably one of the ones we uh, didn't think was too much in the running for a spot in the final. Um, look, they've really elevated this with what is a very classy and a, a very uh, sort of effective staging on this mm. one. The song remains the same. It's one of those ones that splits people. Some people think it's incredibly boring. Others really connect with it. They've given themselves a chance because they do sell a narrative here and it works. Yeah, indeed. It's really well put together. I think there will be jury love for this. They've done a great job of bringing like a band on stage mm. and almost dividing the song in three parts to keep movement and interest going for what is a really repetitive song. Really repetitive, but they've made you kind of forget about it. So there's a familiarity about the song for viewers and for jury, and I think that could sneak it through. Um, jury might be strong. I'm not so sure on the telly. Well, we've almost given away there, but from that sixth group, Who's your two getting out of there? Uh, I think Austria and Albania will be going through to the grand final. I think um, I've got Portugal instead of Austria. I think those two are fighting for the spot. And I must admit, I do kind of want to pick Albania, and I wish I could have had, but I'm going to go Estonia. I'm going to have faith in Uku and the um, presentation that's been put forward, and I think it could sneak through. All right. Let's talk about some of the ones the team probably have discounted, and I think we're with them. Three out of the 16 people said Latvia would qualify. Um, I'm one of the 13 
saying that don't think it's going to qualify. Let's put it out there. I think it's quite a disappointing presentation, mm-hmm. really, from Latvia. They had so much to work with, with this stunning, uh, powerful artist, and I just don't think they've harnessed any of that and put it through the screen. This was not a commercial song. This was a, a song for staging and for Eurovision, and then they delivered that staging, and it's really disappointing. Um, they're meant to be empowering and lifting up this amazing queen, and I just feel like she's getting swamped in this bizarre LED use and staging. It's, it, yeah, it's some very questionable choices made there. Now, one of our 16 people put the next one through. That's <laughs> Poland. Um, I have to say, prior to the rehearsals, I had Poland going through, because not that it's an amazing song or anything like that, but I just thought, well, if you it's simple, do a nice, mm. simple, slick staging, you should be able to get this right. I, I think maybe, yeah, throwing too much at it, too much. Way too much at it, and he can't deliver it, unfortunately. It's quite messy. If it comes together, you never know, but oof, it's got a very big uphill battle yeah very very big and there was one song that got zero out of 16 tail that was